Hello Rangers, hello survivors of the nuclear apocalypse, hello guardians of the law, welcome back to Wasteland 3 and playing hardball. So we have gotten, or we got out of here, we uh, basically lost all other rangers unfortunately um, and I'm not sure there was, maybe, maybe we need to pick her up or something or is she coming, just like so. Was that yeah, there she is. Major okay. Brassad? They got her? Yeah, God unfortunately, damn. yes. Fuck this place. Fuck it. Sorry, Jody. Let's just get out of here. So we are three survivors of this ambush by these uh, crazies who have some kind of blood ritual or something going on. A deluge of blood. Welcome, Rangers. You may approach the patron. And we found out that we have secret orders and we are to... Three. When there were fifty. Cold logic says I should turn you away. That there aren't enough of you left to do the job at hand. But that Dorsey ambush was my fault. And I owe you more than explanations and apologies. So, here's something more tangible. The Dorseys didn't just attack you. They attacked my city. This one was trying to burn down our jail. If you want some vengeance for what was done to you, he's yours. Well, thank you. Uh, ah, but we believe in justice, not vengeance. You should give him a trial. How oh, civilized. Around here we save trials for those whose guilt is in doubt. But if that's what you want, I'll introduce him to Judge Watkins. He always follows the law. That's good to hear. I'd like to bring all the Dorseys to justice. And maybe, with your help, I will. But for now, let me address your immediate needs. In addition to this base and the aid I promised your general, I'll be giving you the resources to return your force to full strength. Recruiting, training, and equipping. It's not enough. I know. The men and women you lost can never be replaced, but it's what I can give you. I hope you'll accept it. Well, thank you, Patriarch. We appreciate anything you can do for us. Well, this is like a bit uh, weird to answer. <laughs> like, do you have nerve damage? Your hands are shaking. Um. Well, but let's do it. If there is a skill check, we will always have to do it right. My hands oh. don't shake. There's nothing wrong with me. And if you say there is, you'll be going back to Arizona empty-handed. Understood? Now quit asking about things that aren't your concern and answer the question. Will you accept my offer? Well, of course. Thank you, Patrick. We appreciate anything you can do for us, because we are just three left. I'm glad to find you so amenable. I hope that means we're going to get along. Now, <sighs> introductions. My name is Saul Buchanan. I own Colorado, though you'll meet some who disagree. This base is your new home. From here, you'll aid my people and, more importantly, do the job I brought you here to do. Now... Yes, Joe? Pardon, Patriarch. It's Daisy. An update on the Garden of the Gods? All right. Sorry, Rangers. Still putting out fires. Two of my best are waiting for you inside. Darius Kwan of the Marshals and my old friend Sergei Gretzky. Go see him. I'll be in when I'm done here. 
Alright. Oh, and by the way, we got a level up. So maybe we should actually... Uh, ah, welcome to the inventory screen. From here you'll be able to see all the items you are carrying, review their stats and information, equip them to your characters and more. There are no limits on the number of items you can carry at once. That's good to know. Accessing item options. You can right click on any of your items to see extra actions you can do with them. For example, this is an easy way to quickly heal up your arranger, uh, arrangers after combat. And inventory stats. Re uh, view your character stats. You can left click the derived stats button while on the inventory screen. These stats are primarily determined by your attributes, but certain skills, your equipment and any active status effects will influence them as well. Alright. We just got another level, right? Field stripping. Any weapon can be broken down into spare parts by field stripping it. If you have a very low barter skill, you can sometimes get a better price from merchants for the parts than the weapon itself. With the scrounger's touch perk, field stripping also has a chance to grant weapon mods. Ah, oh, that is actually interesting. Ah, oh yeah, and we have increasing attitude. Starting at level 3, your rangers will earn one attribute point per level. Attributes always cost one point to upgrade. Attributes are the source of all your vital stats. Want to live longer, run faster, shoot straighter or hit harder? There's an attribute for that. Alright, that's good. And he now it's... Know what he's talking about. But the guy is still talking. Um, so I guess... I think it's time. Uh -huh. We need coordination to shoot better and to have more action points, especially. Yeah, that's this one, alright. But I think uh, coordination is more important and with the skill of heavy, uh, heavy weapons will get more stuff anyway so let's get this one and the next level we can uh, have one more action point it's actually worthwhile all right let's take a look at the skills confirm oh yeah so it's, it's for two levels we just got two levels uh, let us get yeah, I mean, one more big guns won't hurt. Explosives. And let's get lock picking. And then we've got three in spare. I think that's fine. Confirm changes. And here, oh yeah, she got kick ass. The yeah, kiss ass. Oh, and by the way, didn't we get. I oh, know. No, no, it was kiss ass. Uh -huh. uh, ah, she didn't get the level. She needs 120 points. So that's actually like the charisma. The charisma increase. All right. You're the leader there, Lee. Well, then I guess we leave it just like there for the moment. Um. So there's a signpost here. This crudely painted sign says Colorado Springs with an arrow pointing south. As yeah. is this. There we have the Kodiak. That's our vehicle, I think. Uh, I, I just thought it would use... I would uh, uh, have uh, purple foam or, uh, or du dust or something out of there. So Jody Bell, how are you doing? I need to rest a spell. Catch my breath. That all right with you? Yeah, sure. How are your injuries? Recovering okay? Uh, I'm still healing up. Go out and find your footing while I get back on my feet. All right. How are you missing? Uh, are you missing Arizona? Oh, man. More every day. This place is nice and all. Kind of majestic with all the mountains and wild weather, but... It's hard to enjoy it when I know everybody back home is dying by inches. Yeah, you're right. We need to get going and uh, get the supplies. We gotta finish up our business with the Patriarch and get the supplies he promised us back home. People are counting on us. My folks are counting on us. 
Yeah, you're right. So sorry. I just want to get this done and get back to him. Yeah, you're completely right. So later. let's get to it. Let's talk later. So what do we have here? So this one, Dorsey prisoner. Doesn't say anything. Then find some whose job was that. Adamant. Oh, she's got some good gear. You guys, no elite sudden enforcer. Moves around the patriarch. Yeah, no worries. No sudden moves around the patriarch. We are friends. No yes. sudden moves around the patriarch. There's a garage door over there. This is immaculate. Only not, it's not talking much. No sudden moves around the patriarch. Yeah, you're right. No sudden moves around the yeah. Alright, so dil diligent Joe. Pleased to meet you, Rangers. Don't let me hold you up. You have business in your new headquarters. Ah, that's our headquarters, alright. Let's go there. That's an alarm. Welcome, Rangers. I'm Marshal Darius Kwan. And this here is Sergei Gretzky. Good to meet you, Rangers. Glad to see some friendly faces. Been rough around here these last few days. Dorsey's attacked us too. Snuck inside Colorado Springs and killed a lot of people. Situation's under control now. Mostly. What were the Dorsey's after? The Patriarch. Thank God they never got near him. He's the only thing keeping Colorado from tearing itself apart. Mm -hmm. And sorry about these alarms. Something must have triggered the old security system. Trouble is, there's a bunch of angry robots guarding the computer that shuts them off. Oh, robots, all right. How you deal with them is your call. Your base, your rules. Okay. Angry robots, why are there ang uh, angry robots in the base? Yeah, weird, huh? They weren't active when we looked the place over a few days back, but... Well, but... Ah, let's talk after you kill the alarms. Yeah, well... I can hardly hear myself think. All right then, so what do we have? Pick lock. Too difficult over there. There we have... Another... And here... Another door and here we can't go, no. But there was something here. Oh, a, a toaster for level three, though. Okay, interesting. Well, then let's go in here. There are servitor bots. I rave alarm. Oh, they want to pacify us. Uh, kiss ass. We are the Arizona Rangers, a successor unit of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. We are government representatives. Remain on hold. All right. So these guys are not in good shape. What do we have here? Oh, nice. Oh, oh, some good equipment. A Merc armor. All right. Goggles and a mask offered little in the way of protection, but are invaluable considering Colorado weather. Critical chance. That's actually nice. A red tech helmet. The dome is so tough you almost don't mind the claustrophobic space, the restricted vision, or the unplaceable smell. And by the way, we can see here. Was, was there an animal? Uh, we can see here that uh, there are requirements and if we don't meet them, <coughs> then uh, we have some disadvantage or something, but we still can use the equipment. I find that system very nice. Merc armor, 
Shaped metal plates riveted to a leather underlayer provide moderate protection and decent mobility. Canvas pouches provide easy access to stored gear. All right. Let's loot it all. And let's... Yeah, she can actually use it. This one. This one. Oh, yeah. This is better. Oh, yeah, it looks very professional, actually. The red tech helmet. Yeah, we are not using that one. So, but with this, with this, she got a higher uh, critical chance as well. That's nice. So let's have a look. Showing stats. Critical chance ten percent. It's not so bad. And she shoots six bullets with every attack. All right. So what do we? What else do we have? Large container. Ah, some stuff. Another mangler. The other one was a mangler too, right? Oh, glance plates. Armor mod steel plates arranged to redirect instead of stop incoming forces. Are statistically shown to reduce lethality. And that's nice. So that is an armor mod. Weapon and armor mods. In the wasteland, we will find both weapon and armor mods. Installing a mod will improve any equipment it's attached to. But once installed, they cannot be removed. To install a mod, one of our squad members must have the necessary weapon modding or armor modding skill. Alright. Modding the gear to install a weapon or armor mod, select the weapon or armor you want to upgrade and choose the modify option under it. Different mods require different armor or weapon modding levels. The better the mod, the higher the level. Ah yeah, pick lock. There we go. Very nice. Colorado dollars, Colorite photo. Another container. More dollars. And an, unburn, uh, an unreadable burned book. <coughs> More dollars. And a Casio watch. Stylish, but it's long stop working. Right. Pick lock. Another pick lock level two. Nice old journal. This journal has a plastic holographic cover featuring a jet that bangs and turns depending on the angle you look, you look at it. On the inside of the cover is written Journal of Eddie Blue. Ah, we can actually read this stuff, huh? Read. The pages of this journal are yellowed with age and the ink has faded with time in many of the earlier entries. It appears to have belonged to someone named Ali Bleu. The last entry reads November 30, 2059. Gabriel Reyes, and by the way guys, if you just if you wonder, I will read everything because I want to read it myself, of course. So Gabriel Reyes, at least once, right? Gabriel Reyes and Althea Wesson came to our compound today. There was a tense bit where Sydney shot at them, but, unfo uh, but fortunately Jordan was there and recognized them from that time over in Balkan Park. They brought some coffee and we talked over a warm drink. It was nice, civil, pleasant even. Strange to not be at the throats of someone, not in the family, but that was the whole point, I suppose. They want us to head back into the city next week to meet with a man named Saul Buchanan, they even suggested relocating to Colorado Springs. Abandon the Peterson. Imagine that. We've been safe here for years and they want us to move out and, what, become neighbors with them. And those despicable Noxes will go to the meeting. They said this Buchanan fellow is very persuasive. And they promise us a tin of that coffee so it won't be a total loss to check it out. But I'm certainly bringing my guns. Ah, yeah. So that's maybe the beginning the beginning of Colorado Springs or something. Orders from Ranger Command. Let's read them again. Instructions to Major Vera Prasad. Take command of convoy designated Team November and cross the Rocky Mountains to the city of Colorado Springs. Make contact with Saul Buchanan, aka the Patriarch. Ah, that's the Saul, right? Was that Saul? Saul Buchanan. Ah, yeah, so actually, yes. So he. He, yeah, he built Colorado, huh? Or rebuild it. 
Establish a base of operations in Colorado Springs. Recruit and train additional personnel as needed. Preserve the life and position of the Patriarch at all costs. Do whatever is necessary to secure the aid promised to the Desert Rangers. Locate Colonel Angela Death and her advance team. If advance team is deceased, collect bodies for burial. If alive, certain reasons for loss of communication. Disciplinary actions authorized at your discretion. In the event of your death or incapacitation, these orders shall apply to the senior surviving member of the expedition. Ah, that is us, right? Well then. Now we know what to do. Mission items, yeah, that's the orders, alright. And junk. Empty cans of Aquanet. Expert pipes, yeah, that's what uh, our major had on her. Human teeth, by the way, I didn't uh, read it before. These teeth look like they may not have been extracted from willing patients. Yeah, and the other stuff we already read, very good. So this is a mangler, there are two manglers, all right. Yeah, well, and then, yeah, and we have armor modding but maybe it's a waste. We need to wait and find better gear. Uh, anyway, I guess. This one is kind of cool though. Yeah, right, so that's the situation here. Ah, there's a radio. Only give static, all right. And here's the big computer. All right. And what will happen at the big computer, my dear survivors of the apocalypse? We will see in the next episode. So I hope you found this one cool. I appreciate if you click the like button. See you next time. And you're very, uh, very much welcome. You're very welcome to join the channel as well. Sorry, I was irritated by this year. Uh, but there's just the concrete is open and the, so it's steel the concrete huh? uh, so you're very welcome to join up with the channel see you next time bye bye